want this to be 90 mil, so we'll rip this down to 90 mil. And to do that, I'll get a marking gauge and ruler. Okay. Now, if you want, you can go just a skerrick above um, what it is you want to finish. So mine's going to be 90. I'll do it about 91. And then I can... It allows... No, I'll go 92. It allows for any error when I'm sawing. And also... Um, when I'm planing, I can plane it down to the mark that I want. So that's set at about 90, 92, I think. And I'll mark both sides. I'm going to mark those with a pencil. There we go, sir. That's waste. This is waste here. All right, I'm going to cut on the waist side of the line. Okay, so I'm coming back to start the cut. Have a look on the other side, see how I'm going. I'm still on the waist side. Try not to cut your bench. It's always a good thing. Okay. Let's take that last little bit. Okay, that's one. And... Yep, that's 72, 92. I'll just cut this other one. And we'll be off and running. And when you're cutting, don't waste your energy. Just go. What's the point? You've got a 22-inch saw there. Use it. I'm just going off line a bit here, so I'm bringing it back on line. There you go. See there, I when I started, I went offline and I brought it back online. And the way you do that is when you're cutting, you actually twist the saw in the direction you want to go, and eventually the saw will come back to where it is you want to be. <laughs> Nearly there. I reckon that's it. You can see I started there and then I had to pull it in and then I had a real good time. And then I turned it upside down and I was a little bit out again. But that's okay. That's what they make hand planes for.